Stay in the middle. Noah Clavel for Lehigh, three, five, and one, freshman from Blairstown, New Jersey. Kurt Smith is a sophomore. He's one and zero oh from Lawton, Oklahoma. So Clavel has the edge at least in number of bouts wrestled this season. He's Better wrestled in. nine, and this is only Smith's second of the year. As a matter of fact, uh, the number one wrestler, uh, T.J. Sewell, injured his elbow. I was talking to Stan Abel earlier, and he's the gentleman walking around down there somewhere with, with a sling under his arm. Uh, and he will be out for some time with that injury. He got in in that Sooner Open tournament. Smith wrestled last year. Uh, only sparingly was 4-2. Two takedowns, gentlemen. One hundred twenty six pounds. Kurt Smith from Lawton. But coming in deep on that right leg is Clavel, but he does not have the takedown yet. No, the Wizards in there down Bunner in. That kind of situation might be called for a potentially dangerous hole because of the angle of the foot away from the knee. Unless Covell rolls the other way, he's going to count to five and stop it. There's the count. Stay on the map. Now the change. Now he's got it. Well, we're back into it again. And right, heading toward the sideline is Kurt Smith, and I think the next time it's released, he's going to go out. Clavel really couldn't help that, Larry, as you indicated. He was trying to get it into another kind of hold, and he just every time he released a little bit. Kurt Smith made for the sideline. Well, I might be wrong on that T.J. Sewell that's got the, the elbow injury, but I was, all I can recall is he said his best 126 pounder is out of the lineup with an injured elbow. And I thought it was Sewell because he wrestled last year uh, at that weight class. So maybe Sewell will be wrestling at uh, 34 against uh, Miris. No takedown in that flurry. Center. Stop, stop, stop. We've watched uh, Clavel this year, and we feel he's good on his feet. And uh, moves some, makes some nice moves in the uh, kind of Olympic freestyle moves. Thirty seconds. Center. Three nothing lead for Oklahoma. Guys, don't keep pushing. On the strength of Tony Belli's six middle. three win at one eighteen over Ed Reagan. Next Lehigh home meet will be against Wisconsin. Monday night. Period concludes. No score. No score at the first grade. Choice son, top on neutral Five. or defer. Home team chooses down. Second period. There you see the Buddha, Larry. Second period, gentlemen. Yes. Joe Ryan. I made him work hard over the Christmas holidays. I don't think he's talking Still. to me. Get on. <laughs> Made him work overtime. He had, instead of leaving the office at three, he didn't leave till four. Caution against the wrestler on the bottom. Wait Mark Piven drove in from Bayshore, Long Island tonight. Must be a Come wonderful on. ride Wait coming out of there tonight, Shell, into this snow. Bring him to the mat. One, two, three. <laughs> Clavel trying to sit out and escape if he can. Not having much success toward the edge of the mat. And over they go with 140 to go in the period. Face me, please. You sell. Get on. Minute and 40 to go in the period. A three to nothing lead for Lehigh University. 
Kurt Smith now up to about a half a minute in the period and stalling, stalling you can't just hang in here you got is being called on the Oklahoma one. wrestler for not being able to convert anything stalling warning he's that still. is and he'll start again from the center with 126 to go just float on him. we're in the second period no score here at 126 and we got more of the same here as Smith underhooks from the back now tries to come over the top and Clavel having a difficult time trying to get out of all this and Center. off they go again Riding time is at 52 seconds, so despite the, the seemingly endless control here, finally there's the escape, and Clavel puts the first point on the board, and it goes to Lehigh, 1-0. That three shot we showed you earlier on the Lehigh bench, of course, was Thad Turner, head coach, Tommy Hutchison, assistant coach, and trainer Jack Foley was the third member of that group. One zero lead, 35 seconds to go in the second period. Noah Clavel in front. If you get that camera shot again, Shell, uh, as Clavel goes in on a single near the edge of the mat again into that wizard situation. He's got the combination, but as long as that wizard combination's kept in there, he can't, doesn't have control. Pulls the arm out, has to bring the, now gets the arm out, but there he, his right foot went over the line. There's Stan Abel, coach, 15th season. On the far end of that bench is a gentleman that we haven't seen, Shell, or he hasn't been introduced since he won his NCAA title, Peter Yaza. Funny, you win the national title, and <laughs> you never see them again when they're seniors, and you don't really have that chance to give them the ovation that they uh, deserve. It would be nice to introduce Pete uh, later on this year or sometime Nothing. to give the fans who cheered him Ready? on for four years uh, the opportunity to congratulate him for winning that title. You can't have your foot inside there, son. Okay? Third and final period. It's a one to nothing lead for Clavel. He'll take the advantage position and What's Smith up? will try to escape to tie it up. Caution, Lehigh. I don't know. This is kind of weird. Larry no, no. Clavel is way no, no. up top here. In that standing position, uh, he was lined up incorrectly. He sat his left foot past the imaginary line between the knee and the shoulder, the outside edge of the knee and the shoulder. He was all set to throw in the single leg grade by. But at this time of the year, he already had a caution in the first period. And when the referee stopped him and said, hey, you can't do that. That's a caution. Therefore, it's a point. Second caution is a point. Incidentally, you get all the cautions in the world. Everything's a point. And now I don't know why he didn't. Well, I guess he didn't. He's he's now he did. But now you got to wait him. for the combination to break. Otherwise, you keep repeating the two, 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 two. So when you're out of the combination, then you signal the two. Clavel is leading three one. And I. I can't emph emphasize enough, Shell, and you and I have reminded everybody that the cheapie's gone. Fail, mate. You need two seconds Shell, to get a near fall. Two seconds of exposure. Not one. Shell, son. Not one and a half. Two. 11 of, seconds riding time has turned around seconds. for the Make moment sure to Clavel. He leads three to one. We have 53 seconds to go as... That Turner looks on apprehensively as his wrestler tries to upset the Oklahoma wrestler here at 126. Although, as we said, on the basis of the total number of matches wrestled, Clavel has wrestled many more this season. But he's going to have to do something. Mark Piven has been not shown a lot of patience with wrestlers either on the top or the bottom here. The feller at the bottom's not doing much either, Larry. Well... Control really rests with the guy on the top for as far as direction. 
and he's more likely to be picked on than the man on the bottom. Lavelle's now trying to turn a bar combination, but with 13 seconds to go in the third and final period, uh, he'll end up with a point for time advantage, which he just got, and a final score of four to one. So Noah Clavel wins his fourth match of the season. A four to one victory over Kurt Smith, who moves to one and one. And with that, Lehigh University has tied the match. Lehigh three and Oklahoma three. Fair choice. And now at 134, Buzz Miris, Lehigh's freshman, is really going to have his hands full here with T.